still on day three notes, part one, unit three. We're looking at letter A, which really should say letter C. And we're going to go ahead and find our slope and our point. So for M, we have one half. For X and Y, we have a positive four and a negative three. Again, it was just the opposites of my x and my y. So we start at the 4, negative 3. And then for our slope, we're going to rise 1 and then run 2. But I'm going to also go the other direction. So I'm going to fall 1 and go left 2. Fall 1, left 2. Do that a couple more times. And then graph your line. And something nice too to check is if, you know, if you look at your slope, it's a positive. This is rising from left to right, which is positive slope. Same thing here. That's positive. It's rising. Here is positive. It's rising. Okay. So in the last one here, this should be D. We have a negative slope, so this time our line should be falling. Okay. So our slope is negative 3. And our point will be negative 1, positive 5. Negative 1, positive 5. And then our slope means go down 3, right 1. For example three, we're going to graph horizontal and vertical lines. This should go pretty fast. For x equals a number, you go to the x-axis. So right here is the x-axis. You find that number, which is a positive three, you put a point there. And you are just drawing a line going the opposite way of the x-axis. So it goes up and down. So for x equals negative two, again I go to x, I go to negative two. And I draw that line going the opposite direction of x. So for these two, you're going to flip it around. So for the y-axis, you're going to 4. y equals 4. And you're drawing your line the opposite way of y. And then for letter D, y is negative 3. And so again, the opposite way of y would look like this. And that is your horizontal and vertical lines.